So it's Friday lunchtime and uh, I've, I've come into this area to see if I could do deer cam for want of a better phrase. Uh, the last time that was up up on uh, up on that run there which is going to be the bottom of the uh, machine built run I spotted two so uh, I figured I could I could maybe come in at today see a couple um, no luck so far but we'll uh, I'd really like to show you one of the deer, they're, they're big, a lot bigger than you think they are and uh, they're fast um, but sometimes you can get closer to them than you'd think you would so uh, we don't appear to be having luck, any luck at all on searching for the deer uh, I've got to get back to digging but while I head over there um, there's another place where they uh, you sometimes see them grazing so We'll try that. I, I didn't really ever think that this was going to work, but it's worth a crack because they're cool if you spot them. We're going to try the other bit. So, uh, David Attenborough, it turns out I'm not. But you see this um, this kind of lush grass that uh, that we're getting at this time of year. It's just been raining this morning, and um, then we've got now got a patch of sun at lunchtime and this is the kind of perfect time to spot them usually I knew this would happen and as soon as I start the video camera I might a bit lunchtime a little bit bored thinking oh I know what I haven't made a vlog for a while and I, I, it'd be nice to show everybody the deer typically as soon as you turn the camera on we'll go and have a look over here so other than having like an hour for lunch and then hoping that we spot something I think we can fairly comprehensively say that I'm never going to make a BBC wildlife documentary maker um, so what's new? what's been happening? Um, the decision has been made to uh, to build as well as the ones that we've got at the moment but the decision has been made to build a machine built run uh, that track is well that track's got one purpose and one sole purpose uh, I'm a fan of I'm a fan of the edits that you see from Whistler I'm a fan of that style of riding um, I'm a fan of a big fan of the coast gravity park I'm just going to take a seat a second excuse me I'm a big fan of the, the coast gravity park uh, and that kind of riding so the decision has been made to uh, to bring that here so that's a project that's that's going to be next to be underway uh, what else is happening a lot of road building um, it's a big task, uh, it's a big undertaking to do by myself, however, you know, it's about kind of uh, pushing your boundaries and seeing what you're capable of and we're putting a road in. Uh, news, latest news update, I suppose, uh, the, the roads, the, the, the big project, then they moving into the, um, into the machine built place, when the when this road's finished obviously I can bring the trail crew in so that's that's an important one as well uh, and we're nearly there as well we're not far off um, so then the next job is we'll get the trails finished off that we've already got started uh, and get open for the summer um, tomorrow I'm gonna head to uh, up to to Peebles to go and check out the uh, Enduro World Series um, I, I always like to have a bit of a geek out, geek out around the uh, around the pit up in there Just some, there's always some cool bits of kit it, same as any of you guys it's always good to wander around the pits or somewhere uh, so check that out tomorrow um, back here to finish off so that's the update so far um, we're going to bring some more substantial updates uh, and I think the, the, 
the better ones are going to come and the better vlogs are going to come from the, the trail build days when there's a few of us up here um, and then rather than me just talking away we can get some opinion and thoughts from uh, some of you guys so looking forward to that the sun's come out so I'm going to stop talking and start building again so see you shortly <laughs>